So, 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 so what, 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 what was you saying? I said women don't mm -hmm. like dudes who got their own, who don't need them. Do they rather deal with men mm -hmm. who are not that intellectually aggressive, mm -hmm. who gonna let them say what they want right. and do what they want. Mm -hmm. right. They rather deal with a man like, not saying you like that, mm -hmm. but most women out here don't wanna deal with a man who gonna say, baby, nah, don't wear that. Nah, baby, don't talk like that. Mm -hmm. They don't really wanna deal with that. They rather deal with a dude who let them say and do whatever they wanna do. Mm -hmm. And they think if a man be a man, He's toxic. So my question was, do you fuck with a real woman? Let me and, answer that question. And the reason why I asked okay, I'm is listening. because if you fuck with a real woman, she's going to agree with you. Hey, maybe I shouldn't step outside wearing this, I respect that, this baby. nasty so let me ass that. shit. Let me or, answer that. This is the problem. The real woman is standing too close to the hose, so we don't know the difference until we start talking to y'all. Talk? No, no, listen, listen. I'm listening. I, I, met, I met a lot of women. It don't mean, I don't care if they from the hood. I don't care if they from, they got two parents. They interests are the same. It's like right now, right? If you see 10 lions coming down the street, are you gonna try to figure out which lion gonna bite your ass or not? You gonna be like them 10 lions. So unfortunately, the real woman agree with too much shit that these hoes is on, so we don't know the fucking difference. All women are queens. If she breathes, she's a fuck! Oh, Shreky? The Galactic Empire of YouTube is not gonna like this video, bro. As per usual, you know your boy goes off on these scallywags. But I'm not gonna lie, man, that, that was actually a pretty good conversation. Ladies, if you're a good woman, we're not gonna know if you're standing near a flock of scallywags. Birds of a feather flock together. Because if they get themselves in a compromising situation, you're gonna be there right with them. And the same thing goes for women that show pictures of themselves on IG, like all types of crazy stuff I'm talking about, cleavage out. Sure, you might be a loyal girl, but we're not gonna be able to tell you apart because you're doing what the unloyal women do. It's not rocket science, ladies, so stop making it seem like it is. Why do you think men care about a woman's body count? Do you? People actually care about that shit? Men in general. <laughs> if a man is fucking asking me a body count, he can get fucked. Who gives a fuck? Oh my god, that's so stupid. People actually ask that shit? Yes. You Okay, well then you're talking to the wrong man. If a man is ever asking you about your body count, you're talking to the wrong man, and he can get fucked. Like, that's so fucking stupid. So, get fucked. So, can I ask you this then? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, what do you think about the analogy, if one key can open many locks, it's known as a master key, as opposed to if you have a lock that can be opened by any key, it's a shitty lock. I think that if a, if a woman is an analogy to you, then you're not fucking ready to be talking to a woman. And you should probably get fucked. So if a woman is a key to you, talk to your mom. Talk to your sister. Talk to your cousin. I don't know. Get a real fucking life. And get fucked. Thank you. And a woman is not a key. Thank you. I feel like a girl who has a high body count has no self-respect for herself, mm -hmm. so just let anybody hit it with streets. Yeah, yeah. damn, she's Yes, sir! This nigga's spitting! Damn, nigga! I want you all to notice the difference between those two clips. Like the first woman in that video sounds completely obnoxious. Sounds like she wants to be the center of attention. That one real annoying friend that constantly gets drunk and ruins the moment. It's like night and day between these two chicks. But the second one on the other hand, sounds peaceful, is feminine, isn't doing too much body language. She seems like a genuine nice person. That is the reason why men prefer women with less body counts it's so obvious like, it showed in this video like you can't make this up bro like it, it's impossible to ignore the differences all that peni that chick had bro screwed up her brain so many Chaz and Tyrone's dog have ran through that and, and it's damaged goods like we, we got to keep it 100 it is damaged goods she was not feeling that comment bro she was triggered you, you can't make that one up but when they're triggered what do they do they insult everyone but the 
point. But we have a lot more clips to go ahead and get into, but before I do that, fellas, do hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. It's extremely important you support YouTube content like this because I speak up for a lot of men that are too afraid to do so. Along with that, watch this video to the fullest extent because it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. You can also comment down in the comment section below. If you don't have anything to say, simply comment for the algorithm or for the algo for short. But let's move on. Can I read it? You can read it. I'll read it. I would never let a woman pay for a bill. If someone touched any of my women, I would stand up against- Stand up against 10 men by myself and risk my life to protect her. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. They create life. They should be protected. I believe that women are beautiful creatures. I like who- I like this guy. You like, you like this I guy. like this guy. He- he okay. knows what he's saying. Those, both those quotes are from a man known as Andrew Tate. Oh God, no, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. Don't, you're a trickster. What, was that, a, was that no. a, a nice statement? You're mean, you're I'm, mean. Why? I'm gullible. What, what's bad about it? You used it against me. What's bad about Andrew Tate? What's not? What, what are like three things that you hate about him? He's a bitch. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. So he's a bitch. And he's bald. There's no way there's And that. he's bald. So he's a bitch, he's a bitch, and he's bald. She couldn't even name three things she disliked about Andrew Tate. But when Andrew Tate puts women on a pedestal, then she's okay with what he's saying, fellas. You can only speak out against the mob as long as it's positive. No such thing as constructive criticism, self-improvement, and or just a realistic point of view. You must say that all women are queens and that they need to be protected. That's the only thing men must say about women. But we know it is not the same the other way around. There's no restrictions on what they can say about me or you, bro. I'm pretty sure in the future, I'm gonna have a lot of content creators making fun of me, trying to come at me, dog. It's like you're talking to a special ed child, you know? Like if they hit you, you can't hit them back. Or if they say something to you you have to soften the blow regardless if it's actually damaging towards you like you just must take it as a man once again they're special ed children doc and you got to treat them like special ed children nowadays or you get in trouble for it you get removed from all the social media platforms she just called this man the b word even though he's saying that he would simply lay down his life for a woman that he loves there's no winning dog he was paying your rent and subscribe i was living in his subscribe. apartment and what else was he providing? Everything. Food, everything, all of it. He was providing and you think entertainment. He used you all for of it. sex? I mean, that was your. Man. I I felt as if I wasn't living to my fullest potential because I was living off of his means. So how do so you want to be independent and you don't want to give up sex? So that's why you're single. He's he's taking care of everything, and you think sex is too much of a trade-off did you feel no, used i never when said he, that you felt well, you said he was he using left? you for your body you can be <sighs> manipulative and use someone manipulated for what body. yeah be, speaking from you know, experience that means her parents I mean, i'm not gonna lie you guys Honestly, ask, like come on we're good we like sex too yeah, yeah no i'm not sex. saying i'm not saying <laughs> that lord oh lord even traditional men that are doing everything that majority of women want still go through hell and trouble. To basically go ahead and summarize that clip just in case she didn't understand what was going on, she stayed with the man that was paying her bills, like actually living in his apartment, and she felt like he was only using her for sex. So she decided to leave the guy so she wouldn't be used for sex. Even though, mind you, mind you, mind you, she's living with him, like she's absorbing his resources and all he wanted in return is intimacy. Now don't be fooled, fellas, women want sex too. The only difference is they know how to weaponize it. And that's what the other women was calling out, you know? A lot of modern women, they pretend like they don't like sex when it comes to like having sex in exchange for something. Like everything's a mutual exchange. If he's paying your bills, you, you better be dropping some ass. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not just about to stay in my place. And if I want some pooty tang, not try to give it up. Like that's not fair. You're using me for my resources at that point. Thank God she left him because she honestly didn't deserve a man like that. And that's me being real, bro. And then you got the other birds next 
next to her, agreeing with the foolishness, saying that they've been used too. Well, when I bet the guy that was quote unquote using them was spending thousands of dollars a month on these chicks, bro. Because yo, last time I checked, yo, rent ain't cheap. Hell, I, I pay at least a grand a month. So well, what is she really saying here? He wanted something in return that is simple, that is also mutually beneficial. Sex benefits both parties. Both parties, you know, really enjoy it. But one lies and uses it to manipulate men, basically, right? And play the victim like she is in this video. But thank you for making it this far throughout this video, man. L listen, bros. A lot of you all are so quick to follow these IG chicks, these OnlyFans models and support them. But not a lot of you are willing to subscribe to content like this and other creators like this, man. So if you made it this far, definitely subscribe, bro. Like we are in this together. I'm fighting this battle, man. Like we have a small little army going on I and mean, we need to gain more recruits, dog. So yeah, go ahead and support the channel and follow me down in the description below, man. I got like all of my social media accounts linked to there. I also have a TikTok, which I probably split these videos up and post them on TikTok just to kind of grow that area over there. But other than that, this has been an episode of Things Brutal. Peace.